In this lesson, we're going to continue with sitting stance. So again, this is a front-facing sitting stance, which means when our feet are double shoulder width apart like this, we are looking forward this way. We're not looking this direction. Okay, that, that comes later. So this is a front-facing sitting stance. And when you're in a front-facing sitting stance, your feet are double shoulder width apart like this, and you can be leaning slightly forward. So it's okay to lean slightly forward when you're in this stance. You shouldn't be perfectly up like this in this stance because a lot of the techniques that we're going to be doing were directing power this way and that requires that you be a little bit forward when you're doing the, the techniques. So we're going to go through some of the basic attacks and blocks in Taekwondo. So, Chumbi. Sitting stance, middle punch, Chumbi. Now, sitting stance, middle punch, by count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, every time the hands interchange, when the hand is back, it's in tight and it's up. You don't want the hand to be sitting down here at the hip because what's going to happen is when you go to punch, you're going to be punching up at your target to do a middle punch and we don't want that. For a middle punch, your punch should come out and if anything, even a little bit down towards the target when you punch. You don't want to be climbing on a middle punch. You want that middle punch to come straight out from your body. Shortest distance between two points is a straight line. You want that punch to go this way. You don't want it going this way at the target. And it needs to be tight. You don't want everything loose like this because you're not ready to punch. If you're in this position here with your hand down, you can't fire that punch quickly. There's no power there whatsoever. You need to have this hand cocked and loaded. It should be under tension when it's back in this position here. It's like a spring that's just ready to explode and go forward. Almost like I have to hold it back to keep it in this position because it's ready to come forward. So when I fire that punch, then all it is from here is just hip rotation and then fire it. Okay? So let's look at some of the basic techniques in Taekwondo. So we've got middle punch. Okay? Middle punch. Probably the bread and butter most important attack. Low block. This technique starts at the shoulder, comes down, and stops in front of your leg, or just the inside of your leg when you're in sitting stance. So as long as you cover your entire upper body and stop here, this is fine. Your arm shouldn't be straight on a low block. It should be slightly bent after you've completed the low block. Don't bring it too far out and don't bring it too close to your body like this. It should be out from your body, okay? So low block starts up at the shoulder, palm facing towards you, slides down your arm, and then stops here like this. And the non-blocking hand, non-blocking arm is brought back tight. So like this. When you do the other side, same thing. Palm facing towards your face, touch your shoulder, slide down the arm, and stop in front of your body like this. So, let's practice low block. So from here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, count four. Uh. You notice, Body rotation, right? Rotate 
and then throw it. That's how you generate power in this block. 